Hello, my name is Mark Wilcox and I'm CARES Group Medical Director and I thought that I would make a short video to describe some of the changes that patients may anticipate in their forthcoming treatment. The HFEA has granted all care clinics uh, licenses to be able to start treatment in the very near future. We've been making plans for this over the last few weeks and putting these into place. The changes that uh, we have uh, developed are broadly to decrease person-to-person uh, -person contact and also to try to reduce the burden on the NHS for any complications that may result from our treatments. You will also notice a change in some of the protocols that we are now adopting. Again, these are to reduce the number of visits to the clinic and possibly to reduce the number of staff that you will encounter. We also wish to uh, reduce the uh, possible risks of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, for example, and therefore a slightly different protocol may be recommended. An antagonist cycle um, is a good example of this um, and is commonly used for uh, patients with um, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome in whom we anticipate an unpredictable response. These antagonist cycles um, are using FSH as uh, normal, uh, but rather than starting a, a small injection on a daily basis, uh, either before the period or certainly at the time of it, we can delay the onset of that injection um, for a few days and start a different sort of medication on about day five or six of the cycle. And this directly antagonizes um, the, some of the hormones, uh, which means that we don't get a uh, premature ovulation. All of these protocols will be explained to you in some detail, but it does mean that we can give a slightly different trigger injection with an antagonist cycle, which means that we avoid HCG altogether and therefore the risk of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. If we do this uh, protocol, it is possible that we will recommend an elective uh, freeze all of all embryos.